the color orange. Audio. By Nessie Mutamiri. There was dancing and kissing. Guests also drank beer and other soft drinks, and some got drunk. Felistas and Chris Darrell gave speeches, and people clapped hands. Guests returned to their homes after midnight, and the limousine that the bride and groom were in was involved in a car accident. It hit three other vehicles and the driver of the limousine died on the spot. Elaine tried giving him some assistance before he died as they waited for more help, but he was terribly injured such that he could not be rescued. He however managed to save Zoe and then came, the, came the fire brigade and ambulance, then the police. The police took some statements from survivors. They were all rushed to the hospital and the visitors visited them there. Alan was not seriously injured so that he got out of the hospital just after a day of being there. Zoe was in a bed set. She could not walk, but doctors performed the surgery on her, and after four months, she could walk. Alan helped her to do some exercises at home. They could not go on their honeymoon because of that. They had many visitors who came from all over the world to see Zoe. She was recovering fast. They bought, uh, they bought her flowers and get her some cards. Zoe was in checkup, was in this state for two years. And she used to go to the outpatient department for some checkup. Alan continued to help her with some physiotherapy exercises. The exercises went on fine, and Zoe seemed to have seemed to ha to have been motivated to get better more quickly. She was getting some antibiotics, and the exercise seemed to help relieve her of the pain. So we woke up one Monday morning and just felt the pain had gone. However, she became an outpatient of East Glad NHS Center so that her brains may be checked. Her brains were scanned and there was a slight damage which could be rectified by taking medication. She had to take medication every day and after a, a year of taking the medication, they decided everything was fine. She was back to her normal self. Chapter 5 David had to bid farewell to Dawn after she had completed her contract. She had become hardworking and David still liked him a little unlike before. They just bid farewell to each other. David had to hold interviews for the secretarial post. Different candidates sent their CVs there. There was Gabriela, Sean, Maria, and Katie. Gabriela had done her GCSE A levels and had a diploma in secretarial. She had had experience at another surgery. She was a well groomed young lady who had done etiquette as an extracurricular activity at school. Sean had done his GCSE A levels and also had a diploma in secretarial as well as a diploma in psychiatry. He had worked in a surgery before 
for seven for seven years David thought he was the likely candidate Maria had done her GCSE A levels and also had a diploma in secretarial. She had done some modeling and grooming at some modeling school. She was also fluent in French and Spanish. David decided to recruit both Sean and Maria. Sean and his assistant and Maria as the secretary because Katie only had done a GCSE A level and had obtained 11 points. Maria was a hard-working secretary and she worked well with both Sean and David. She later fell in love with Sean and they worked even harder together. David got to know one day when he found them kissing he was a bit surprised but accepted that it happened since he had been taking some afternoons of off work to do some private business. Sophia and Matthew had their engagement party at the Ibis Hotel and their guests who had come from all over the world enjoyed it. They announced the date of their wedding, which was the 31st of December 2011. They started preparing for their wedding. Sophia had received a diamond ring for her engagement. For her wedding, she had clothes designed by TK Maxx. The bridal team also got their clothes from there and from Calais Disco. The ladies had beautiful purple dresses and the gentlemen and had lovely long purple jackets and trousers. They liked their trousers and the groom was dressed in a purple shirt and black tunic. Sophia and Matthew worked together as hotel managers and the hotel was called Cafreo Hotel. Therefore, they had their wedding in Cafreo Hotel. It was a three-star hotel. There was thorough preparation for the wedding. All the employees were busy cleaning up and others preparing the menu. It was a hectic time for all of them. They bought rings for 48 carats of gold and the and the and, the, and, Sof, and Sophia's ring had flowers on it. Matthew had no design on it. Matthew's had no design on it. Matthew and Sophia's wedding uh, day arrived they had booked four limousines for the wedding. Some people came from Bristol, Milton Keynes, London, Leeds, Newcastle, and America, as well as France. Cape Frail Hotel looked beautiful on, on that day, and Matthew and Sophia could not believe its beauty. The bridal team got to the hotel in the limousines just like the bride and groom. The welcome was great and Matthew and Sophia the welcome was fabulous and Matthew and Sophia looked like uh, liked it very very much. Lola and um, Thomas gave speeches and invited guests clapped their hands. There was uh, much joy and people danced and rejoiced. There was also some kissing as people danced there. There were 
fireworks outside. Some people booked rooms and made love in the rooms such as Thomas and Lola and Gertrude and Michael. Gertrude and Michael had announced their engagement before sleeping together. The wedding finished well and they got a helicopter for their wedding present. For Lola and Thomas, Matthew's parents gave them a house they lived in America and the house they gave them was in Mo they lived in America and the house they gave them was in Mossboro in Sheffield. Other people gave small presents. Guests left the wedding party before 12 midnight. The bride and groom slept at the hotel in the in a double bed lounge suite. The bridal team returned to their homes in the limousines and they played music in it. The bride and groom left the following day for their honeymoon in America in New York. They did their shopping at Yves Saint Laurent. They started in the Sheraton Hotel and they enjoyed their stay. They kissed and made love and when they left after a month, Sophia thought she was pregnant. She went to the doctors and it was confirmed that she was pregnant and the child the the child sex was to be kept a secret. Lola and Thomas <coughs> welcomed them back at the airport. They got back home and there was a welcome home party. Friends from all over England were there and there was a great jubilation. There was great jubilation. There was a fabulous jubilation. In Invited guests sang and danced and kissed as they danced. This was also combined with the housewarming party and in the end. The party ended well and people returned to their homes safely. Everything had gone as planned. Sophia, after nine months of pregnancy, gave birth to a baby boy called Benjamin. People had a baby welcome party and the baby received many presents. Sophia had to take a leave from work even though it was their own hotel. David, Sean, Maria were working well together and Camille who was so much in love with her husband. They spent some evenings together going to the Chinese restaurants to eat. Sometimes they had their evening meals at Cape Frail Hotel for a special offer. Sean and Maria got engaged and they invited David and Camille to the engagement party. The engagement party was being held at Cape Frail Hotel and the party was fabulous with the speech, fab, fabulous speeches that were given and people danced. These two were Christians so they played some Hosanna music. They were served the day's menu by waiters and waitresses, it was well prepared and guests enjoyed the meal. It was one big meal except for those with allergies. The ones with allergies were allowed to order separate meals. David and Camille gave them a lounge. Here are the top search results. David, Sean, Maria were working well together and Camille was so much in love with her husband. 
Sean and Maria got engaged and they invited David and Camille to the engagement party. The engagement party was being held at Cape Rail Hotel. And the party was had fabulous pictures that were given and people danced. These two were Christians, so they played some Hosanna music. They were served by day's menu by the day's menu by waiters and waitresses. It was well prepared and guests enjoyed the meal. It was one big meal except for those with allergies. The ones with allergies were allowed to order separate meals. David and Camilla gave them a lounge suits for the new house they had bought. The others also gave reasonably big presents. They was dancing and singing and Peter was found kissing Felicitas and Felicitacion. Felicitacion was furious and she asked Peter why they was kissing intimately, why they were kissing intimately. She also said that they were, they must have been get crushing at the party. They denied it and said they were invited by Sean. Let and they were not kissing intimately according to them. Felicitation requested for a divorce. Peter was shocked but did nothing to stop her. Felicitation quickly left the party and went home to pack her bags to move in with Camille and David. The divorce proceedings went on well and as fast as possible, Jacob and Jubilee were very disappointed and they wished their parents could reconcile. The party had ended terribly. Felicitas and Chris Darrell had a nasty quarrel and they went to their home separately. When they got home, Zoe, Graham and Gertrude were waiting for them to try and reconcile them. Felicitas and Chris Darrell went out things and they went for a holiday in the London Ritz Hotel. They booked a double bedroom for £2,500 per night and they liked the service they got. They made love and kissed and communicated about things they could not communicate about. They used to receive phone calls from their immediate family members. They left the hotel after 10 days and there was great jubilation at their home as their children were happy to see them back. Zoe, Graham and Gertrude bought them welcome home cards. The parents were happy to see their children again after the nasty event at Sean and Maria's engagement and the reconciliation period. The children all went back to their homes and left the parents alone to relax. Felicitas and Chris Darrell had to go back to work as police officers on duty. They worked at the same Sheffield police station. Chris Darrell was called out on patrol and there was an accident on M1 which he had to attend to. It was hectic. Nobody had died but the victims had been seriously injured. Felicitas had to go and help and take statements. There were two buses that had collided. Everybody was rushed to the Northern General Hospital. 
Apparently, they all survived because they were receiving extra care all the way in the accident and emergency unit. When they finished, they got their job. When they finished their job, Felistas and Chris Darrell were exhausted and they just went straight to bed. David had everything back as normal at work but was sorry for what had happened to Sean and at Sean and Maria's engagement. Sean and Maria settled back well at work. Sophia and Matthew were now on separation. After Matthew had uh, been found by Sophia sleeping with another woman called Connie, this had not gone well for the two of them, so they had always been quarreled and sometimes fights, so that Sophia decided to divorce Matthew. Their divorce took a long time because there was no other witness of the event that had happened. Whenever they went, they either, they, whenever they met, they either quarreled or fought. Their separation had gone so bad when the divorce went through that when the divorce went through, that it was affecting both of them. Felista, Sean and Peter started seeing each other again. Their friendship was really good. They used to go to watch movies together. They went and watched The Color Purple together and they both were in tears after watching it. Then they watched Mamma Mia on DVD after watching this, they decided they had to reconcile, but not now, maybe maybe a bit later. Sean and Maria were getting some help from church about what had happened at the engagement. They had thought of calling off the wedding, which they had in mind. The reverend convinced them to go ahead. They then decided to give it some thought. Thomas started seeing another lady who worked as a secretary. Her name was Leona and she was a famous model. Thomas kept their relationship a secret for a year and nobody believed it when it came out in the open. It had been exposed by Sophia and Sarah had um, heard a bit about it but did not believe it. Lola was shocked when it all came out in the open but decided to forgive him. Thomas and Leona broke up their relationship and Lola and him decided to take a holiday. This was March 2012. And they thought of going to Theo Sume. They were told that these are suitable places for summer holiday. That for, for summer holidays. They then decided to go there in June 2012. When June had arrived, they packed their bags and flew to Theo Sume. There, their, their flight was enjoyable and they thought Theo Sume was the best destination for a couple like them. Felista, Sion and Peter decided to have a small wedding in church, in the Church of England. The wedding went on well and Jacob and Jubilee gave them big presents. The other people gave them small presents. Camille and David received 
Lola and Thomas from their holiday. They were enjoying family activities whilst they were on their holiday. Graham and Beauty had their engagement and engagement party. The party was enjoyable and the whole family was present. Invited guests came from all over the United Kingdom, America and France. Guest dance and there were people of all races. There was some kissing among some couples as people danced. Jubilee and Albert announced their engagement and Albert's mother, Maureen, was also present. Graham and Beauty announced the date of their wedding. Prince Darrell's father was present and he danced with Maureen, Albert. Albert's mother, his name was Ronald. Ronald danced well with Maureen. With, Ma with Maureen. Maureen was a divorcee, but Ronald was married to Susan. Susan was a bit anxious and unwell, although she was present at the party. Maureen and Ronald kissed and Susan saw them kissing. She was heartbroken and she became more unwell and had to be rushed to the hospital by Ronald. They rushed to the cardiac unit and Susan was examined by cardiac specialists in the adult's ward. They said she had had a cardiac failure. After their help and support, she was a lot better in four days time. She had, within four days time, she had come all the way from Bromley. She was visited by many visitors from England and they brought her flowers and cards. She decided to forgive her husband. Maureen was accompanied by Jacob and Jubilee to the airport she got into a Lufthansa. She arrived in America safely and early and got a taxi to Hawaii. She, she got home safe and sound, but after she had used 5,000 pounds on transport only, Sean and Maria then decided to have their wedding in September 2012. They bought two 24 carats of gold rings. They liked them very much because they had beautiful designs. Maria said hearts on it and Sean said balls on it. The wedding gown was designed by TK Maxx. It was £3,000 and it was white and had jewelry at the front top. She bought her shoes from Debenhams and they were white pointed high heeled shoes. Sean and Maria were happy about their marriage arrangements and they wanted to book at Hilton Hotel for their wedding. They managed to book for £1,000, a small room. They invited guests from England only and the guests found their own way to the hotel. The wedding was well attended. Camille and David's family members also were present. They had a buffet where they were, had self-service. Couples danced together and other people selected their dancing partners. Some speeches were given and David and Camille gave speeches. 
Bram and Beauty had heard a quarrel that morning because, before attending the wedding. They did not want to dance with each other, but they just danced a little and exchanged partners with Jacob and Marissa. Gray and Marissa danced together, and Jacob and Beauty danced together. Jacob and Beauty ended up kissing, and Marissa saw it. She was disappointed and shouted at them both and left the party. Before she left, Graham tried to follow him. She sent him back saying they had to deal with their own problems by themselves. Jacob then followed Marissa home. They got home and they shouted at each other and Marissa said that was the end. She picked her clothes into her bags and decided to leave. It was a warm September day and it was not even raining. Marissa drove off to a friend's house in Whitefield. His name was Lionel. Lionel welcomed Marissa to his home and advised advised her to file the divorce for divorce. She agreed and they became closer friends through the tough times that Marissa was going through. Sometimes Jacob used to shout at them at at Lionel's doorstep until he was given a restraining order from coming to their house. Their divorce came through after six months and Lionel and Marissa celebrated. It was good news to them that perhaps they could finally go out. Sean and Maria's wedding ended up well. They received some good presents that they liked, such as a big Dell computer and a wide screen Samsung television. Lionel and Marissa had a private engagement, which they both appreciated. They had a baby girl called Emily. She was a beautiful baby girl and soon or later she had a brother called Tom. Soon or later she had a brother called Tom. They seemed to be happy as they were and were not bothered about having a wedding. Jacob found another woman. Her name was Margaret and they took each other out to cinemas and did it each other for two years. It was in 2000 and in 2014 that they decided to engage and marry. All along they were waiting for Jacob to come to full terms with what had happened to, the, to him. Jacob and Margaret wedded in January 2014. Their wedding took place in Cape Farrell. In Kfrel, Kfrel Hotel, they invited people from all over the world and they enjoyed the menu served by the waiters and waitresses. Margaret wore a wedding gown designed by Francesca and she had a diamond ring which she received at her engagement. Her wedding ring also had diamonds. 48 carats of gold. Her wedding was to take place on a rainy day and four limousines were hired for the bridal team and the bride and groom. Felicitation was now a successful solicitor and had a firm called Felix and Fosters. Felix and Fosters. 
she sponsored for part of the wedding together with Margaret, who worked for Queen Elizabeth. The wedding was Queen Elizabeth II. The wedding was fabulous. Everything went on well, and there was there were no mishaps. There were no accidents. Either guests listened to the speeches by different spokespersons and presenters. It was an enjoyable wedding. All the guests liked it. They danced and had no and had some fun. Camille and David danced together as well as Lola and Thomas. Every other couple danced together and there was great entertainment. Lola and Thomas returned to their homes happily after the party had ended. The following day, Leona found Thomas and asked to meet him. He agreed and they met at a bridge somewhere. They talked and reconciled because Leona said she was pregnant with his child. Thomas could leave it. At first, but when Leona But when Leona had reminded him of the date when she fell pregnant that they were still together, he then agreed that it was his his pregnant his child that she was she had inside of her. Thomas broke the news to Lola and she was very disturbed by it. After two days, she agreed to look after the baby after it has been after it has been born. When Leona heard the news, she was extremely disturbed. She did not want to let go of her daughter after she had been born. She started thinking of plans of how she could spend time with her. She then asked Thomas for permission to visit her daughter at least four times a week. Thomas asked David for advice and he told him to allow her to see her daughter only once a week after she had been born. The baby was born and she was a girl and Lola went to fetch her from her mother. The mother told her that she was allowed by Thomas to visit her at least once a week. Lola said she had to start with that then after some time, once a month, then after a year, once a year. And after some time, she would not be allowed visits. Leona was very thankful and was happy that her daughter would grow up knowing her. She called her Mary Ann. She was a very beautiful girl. Lola and Thomas were happy to have a baby within the family. Thomas and Leona continued seeing each other. Only on the days that Leona came to see her daughter, Lola had to ask Thomas to stop seeing her. Thomas stopped seeing her and Leona had to start seeing her daughter once again. Jubilee and Albert decided to have their wedding in America. They went to Hawaii to join Albert's mother, Maureen. They booked American Airways 
and flew to Hawaii. When they got to Hawaii airport, Maureen was waiting for them to welcome them. They got into her car and she drove them to her home, which was 20 minutes away. They started stories on their way and they were happy to be shown around the area which they traveled past. They got to Maureen's home. It was a beautiful home near a river. The home was a mansion and Jubilee could not believe it. Albert then explained that quite a number of the homes in the United States of America are mansions. Jubilee was impressed and she decided to come and sing some of her songs there and perhaps build her own mansion with the assistance of Albert, who was an architect. The following day, Albert and Jubilee were introduced to some, some of Maureen's friends and there was Karen and Melissa. The friends were overjoyed to meet them and were excited, were happy to assist with the wedding. They bought the church where the wedding was to take place Karen made the wedding gown for Jubilee and it was beautiful and people admired it. It had jewelry and flowers all over, especially on the tail. They bought 40 carats of gold rings. Karen made the dress for a thousand pounds. The day of the wedding arrived and people came from all over the world, especially from the United States of America and from England. Lola and Thomas attended the wedding as well as Felicitation and Peter and Sophia. They were joined in holy matrimony and no one could speak against their marriage. Camille and David were also present and they brought with them money above 10,000 pounds to give as a gift. There was dancing and jubilation at the wedding after eating from prepared food prepared by Sophia. The food was delicious and tasty, really good for such a wedding. It was a good wedding and all the guests were entertained. The guests had come from the Bible school where Maureen taught and from the church. The wedding finished well and they had to go back to England. Jubilee and Albert flew back by Lufthansa Airways. When they got home, Isabel was sick and in the Royal Hallamshire Hospital, Camille and David had to visit them and they were afraid she was going to die. Lola tried her best to give some medical care to her grandmother. Chapter 6 All her other grandchildren visited her as well and they brought her flowers and fruits. She was now a hundred years old uh, woman. They were now preparing for a burial. They, were con they contributed money for a casket on top of their insurance. On top of the insurance. She was going to be buried at Hollins and Cemetery. They, they They, they started to share stories for the six months after she had turned a hundred years that she was alive. For the six months she was alive. She died early in the morning on Sunday morning when her family was there except for Lola. When Lola 
heard the news, she was very sad and she regretted having missed seeing her die. She thought perhaps she would have tried to save her. People came from all over the world for Isabel's burial. She was buried peacefully on her will and her will was read out. She gave her Bella Boo company to her daughter Camille and son-in-law David for being there for her when she needed them. The rest of the property was to be divided by Camille to her grandchildren. Lola got the house and Felicitas got her goods and Felicitas Young got her three or four cars. There was a memorial held for Isabel a, a year after she had been buried and people came from all over the world once again. Some people cried at the memorial and others gave them tissues to wipe their tears. People talked and parted after some good communication. Camille left Warner Brothers, Warner Productions, and she had a farewell party. She was to manage Bella Vu and to start up to best singing company. The farewell party was held in London at one of the Warner Productions halls. halls. It was enjoyable and her family members and friends were present as well as people from work. People drank wine and soft drinks and there was great rejoicing. There was dancing and kissing am among some dancing couples. People gave her farewell presents and gave speeches. Some couples were reunited like Tracy and Tim from Warner Productions. The farewell party ended well and Camille drove to her home happily. David and Sean went well and Maria had a baby boy called Lucas. He was a charming baby and people liked him and he smiled a lot. Sean loved his son and he thought he was such a darling and a good looking baby. Sean was now feathering his studies in psychiatry and he now wanted to be a psychiatrist like David. David encouraged him and told him that after he, was, he had completed his course, he could work within, with him as his partner. He started taking off days so that he could concentrate on his studies. David still managed without him the days he was not at work. Sean continued with his studies for a year and passed with her first class where he studied at Royal Hallamshire Hospital. He then became David's partner at work and they had a party to celebrate their new partnership. They invited family members and friends from around the world. The party was to take place at Cape Frail Hotel and they combined it with Mills launching of their up to best company. This was a big event and was enjoyable and speeches were given and people were served their new the, and people were served their menu, which was assorted. The, those with allergies 
to different food staffs were able to choose something better. People danced and some couples kissed and there was great excitement. Leona was present and had spent most of the time with her daughter, Marianne. Thomas sometimes took a glimpse of Leona. He then asked her for a dance. They danced, but what they planned as they danced would not have pleased Lola if she had heard it. They planned to let her see Marianne twice a week so that they could spend some time together. They asked David to persuade Lola to agree for them to meet. Since it came from David, Lola agreed. The party ended well and they received many gifts from their guests. Jubilee and Albert started saving for a trip and stay in America. They started having concerts which were entertaining and they raised 100,000 pounds and they raised, or they raised 1 million pounds. They, they sang the following original songs. Babe, I'm missing you. Who do you think? Uh, who do you think you are? I love you. Kissing you. Come dance with me. Beloved, you are mine, babe, come live with me. Chapter 7 Jubilee and Albert flew by Lufthansa Airways. They flew to Hawaii for nine hours and they were sleeping on the way since they had taken the evening flight. They got to Hawaii in the afternoon. Their flight had been relaxing and Maureen was waiting for them at the airport. She had come by taxi so that they also went back by taxi. They slept at Maureen's for a night and they moved to New York where they were to perform on stage launching an album with I love you, kissing you, come dance with me, beloved you are mine, babe come live with me, who do you think you are, babe I'm missing you. Their fans liked the music and they became popular and very well known. They managed to buy a house in New York where most of their fans were. The house was big and adorable and most people wished they could afford a house like that. Even though Albert was still an architect, he now also sang with Jubilee. Their careers, their careers were successful and they were making lots of money. Maureen admired them and she found a lover at one of their concerts. His name was Abraham. Abraham's favorite song was I Love You. They danced to it several times amongst the crowd and when they were only the two of them, Abraham wore tuxedos and drove big cars. He was a businessman. He specialized in the motor industry and his business was flourishing. Maureen and Abraham used to meet everybody in the evenings. They used to attend the same church together and they used to go to the cinema and to the music concerts together. Felicitacion was successful as a solicitor. He had to defend somebody in court who was accused of murder. Meanwhile, Jubilee and Albert had to come back to England to see their mother and mother-in-law defending somebody in court. One of the largest murder cases in England. Felicitation was certain that 
The lady was innocent, but they accused her of murdering her own children in a house fire. Felicitation was successful in defending her after she had gathered some evidence to show that she was innocent and that the fire must have been a must have been caused in an accident. The, the person who had caused the accident, it must have been an accident, the person who had caused the accident had actually flown away from Africa in an attempt to escape his fate. Felicitation had won the case and the lady was released from prison, but she was lonely and had to go through some therapy. David and Sean had to rehabilitate her and they went through a lot of hard work to set things right in her life and her mind. They managed to have Felicitation also set had free from the accusations that she wanted to burn the house only so that she could get a bigger one. Darrell also helped. The private investigator said that she may be cleared of the accusations. David and some social worker also will known as Sean, managed to get her a new home. The story was in the newspapers almost on a daily basis. David and Sean were being successful in their business and David and, and in their business and decided to take a holiday with their partners. Their medical center was closed for two weeks and Camille and Maria were happy to accompany them for, a, for, a, for the two weeks. They decided to go to Nice for their holiday. In this, everything was expensive, but they had made much profit to cover their expenses. They booked rooms in a hotel in Nice, and they had great fun, they had much fabulous fun making love to their partners. The excursion was enjoyable, and when they returned home, they had relaxed enough and were ready for work. They also had a lot of work to do. Leona came back to see Mary Ann and at the same time she accidentally met Thomas. Their relationship was revived there and then, as Leona was a tall, blonde lady who was sexy, she was seductive and was just Thomas's kind of lady. They went out for a meal at Ibis Hotel and they had great, they had fabulous fun talking together. They decided to move in together and it was hasty. And I planned. When Lola heard about the news, she was shocked and appalled at the same time. She was not given any addresses to where they had gone to live, but she thought of looking for them, asking whoever could about their whereabouts. She finally was contacted by one of their neighbors who had always followed their love affair in the newspapers. She gave them their full address but asked not to be identified, especially to them. Lola was very thankful and she decided 
to take a trip there. The dress was Chesterfield, a Chesterfield dress, and she knew her way around Chesterfield. When she got to the place, she was more than surprised by the the greatness, by the bigness of the house. It was huge and astounding. She knew her husband had bought it for her. She knew Leon alone could not afford it and she became very angry because she got into the house. When she knocked at the door, she was answered by Thomas and he got the surprise of his life. Then he asked her what she was doing there and he told her the house was meant to be a surprise for her. She quickly asked him where Leona was and he, he said she did not stay there. Then Thomas showed her the, lit, the title deeds. They were in her name. Lola could not believe her eyes and she kissed him and decided to stay there for the night. Thomas said that the, he spent the night there as it would be too late for him to go home. As the house was being built, they both ap apologized to each other for not spending enough time together. Lola quickly forgave him, so she knew that he might have been seeing Leona at that house, but waited for him to say it. After some time, after some days, he said Leona had wanted some money from him so that she could make a living. He said that when he, he brought her to the house which had been built to show her where his money was going. Lola was not disappointed at all because she thought almost everything had been explained. She then visited the lady who had given her some of the information and thanked her and told her that she was her new neighbor. The lady was very pleased to hear the news and she was very happy for Lola. Maureen and Abraham decided to have a wedding. They decided to have it in England. They flew by Lufthansa to England and they went to David and Camille's place. They were received warmly at David's place and they booked Ibis Hotel. The wedding plans went on well. They bought a diamond ring and 38 carats of gold for Maureen and 48 carats of gold for, for Abraham. The wedding gown was made and designed by CNA. The bridal team clothes were made and designed by Kaleidoscope. The colors were lilac and cream, and for the men, lilac and black. At David and Camille's place, there was great, there was much, much jubilation, as Camille was launching Eucharin. For the first The colors <laughs> the 
The colors were lilac and cream. The colors The colors were lilac and cream and for the men lilac lilac and black. At David and Camille's place there was great jubilation as Camille was launching new Kirin for the first time in England after the French pharmacies. There was um, a party to launch the product. In England, for the first time, Maureen and Abraham attended and they had much, much fun together with the rest of the family. Some speeches were given and there was time to eat the hotel's food, which was made by Hilton Hotel. They invited guests at as they pleased and danced as they pleased in couples. There were some couples who kissed and had great much fun. Thomas and Lola were also present and Mary Ann. Leona was a twig. She had sent a small present. Sam was almost was also Present and she danced with a man called Alfred. They fell in love and Alfred asked Sam to marry him. Sam agreed and they got engaged at Camille's party. Alfred was not a rich, as rich as Sam, but he still was reasonably rich. There was music in the background as Jubilee played I Love You and all the other songs from her album. Camille's party ended well and invited guests returned to their homes in peace and safely. They got home tired and they rested and the following day they had to go back to work. David's company was flourishing and Sean and Maria were working hard for the success of the business. They also had a small party just to celebrate the success of the business. People attended from the UK and they had much, much fun. They was dancing after eating the day's main menu, the day's main menu, when they arrived at home, it was time to think about the wedding, which was the following day, to be held the following day. They made sure everything was hired and that there, was, there were four limousines hired to take them to the wedding. The wedding day arrived and there was great joy and jubilation play and jubilee played the, the her music. It was 
fabulous music and fans who were present enjoyed it. There was much excitement, much, much excitement and everybody was happy for her and her parents. People ate some food and danced and they enjoyed their dance and some couples kissed the like Felicitacion and Peter as well as David and Camille and Thomas and Lola. Everything went as planned. There were no, no accidents, no all mishaps. They returned to their homes in their private cars and the bridal team and the bride and groom returned in the limousines that had been hired. People went home talking stories of the wedding so much had happened that they arrived at their homes tired of talking. It had been a fabulous wedding and people were still thinking about it months after it had occurred, after, after they had had the wedding, Maureen and Abraham had to return to Hawaii. Their stay in Sheffield had been enjoyable and they hoped to come back soon. They flew by American Airlines and arrived home in the afternoon on a sunny day. Abraham and Maureen started their own lunch in their own uh, uh, it's Abraham and Maureen started their own sorry it was Abraham and Maureen started their own church in Hawaii and it was an international church. Abraham was a Christian and he became the leader of the church together with Maureen. They had a happy family and they used to counsel others. They once counseled a Christian family that was just religious and attended church but used to fight a lot at home. The couple called the Dupont used to argue and fight before going to church. It was miserable. However, after some counseling, they got to sort out their life. Jubilee and Albert got a baby called Rose. Commentary. I wrote this book inspired by my experiences in the UK. I left my country, Zimbabwe, and came to UK where I had a great, a wonderful time with my family until my husband and I divorced. And I also have some places from France and UK. Thank you very much. That's the end of my book. I hope you love it. Bye for now. See you next time. When we do another book, when I do another book for you, bye, 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 bye.